Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing an on shape tutorial. Now this one is for the 0x0 zero zero Penrose Cube. So um, I'm just going to sign in real quick. If you don't have an account, it's free. It's really cool. So it's Nathan Wilson is life at hotmail.com. The password is this. There we go. Um, this was just a test. So we're going to create a document and it's gonna be a public document so anyone can access it. That's the one downside of it being free. So anyways, we're going to, uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna make a sketch. We're, we're gonna just select any plane. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna make a center point rectangle just because then you can make it perfectly on the middle. We're gonna make this one inch by one inch. I normally don't use inches because inches are not very nice. So as you see, I have made it one inch by one inch. We're then, we're then going to click extrude and we're gonna make it symmetric just so it's in the center still. Here, I'll, I'll show you the difference real quick. So see blind is just, it comes up straight from the, the sketch where it's symmetric, it goes through the both sides of the plane, it kind of mirrors it. So, yep, we've extruded it. Now we're going to make a fillet, and we're going to select this edge. We're then going to select this edge, and this edge. And we're gonna make this half an inch. So they're half an inch. So, you know, see, we have our pen roll shape, but you may be saying, hey, no, that's actually not a by a zero by zero. You're right, because this is a one by one here. But how we make a zero by zero is we take a one by one, we make it into a zero by zero by taking away the layer. So then what we're going to do, just, you know, because we want to finish up this file real quick. We're going to make another fillet, making it look all fancy and all the edges so they're not as sharp. We're gonna make it, I don't know, We'll say like that much. That looks pretty good. Um, so then we will come over here. See, it says part. Um, we're going to export. We're going to call this pen rows zero by zero. It should download. Okay, it's downloading. If I download it correctly, export. Oh man, oh man, rookie mistake. So uh, as you can see, I downloaded it in the wrong file. So you actually don't want to download it in a Parasolid. Well, this one, it really depends on what kind of 3D printer you have, because we're going to be using a 3D printer for this. Should have told you guys that. Um, so we're going to do an STL just because that's the easiest. We're going to do and rows zero by zero. Okay, so now it's downloaded the correct file. So then, you know, that, that's all good and, you know, everything. But you know, we, this is just the digital file. We got a 3D print it, so we're gonna go to our slicer. We're gonna add a file. We're going to search zero by zero. Oh, look, there it is. We're gonna open and see, Ooh, that really imported it really small. So we're gonna make this a bit bigger. Oh, it's one millimeter by one millimeter. <laughs> so we're gonna make this actually, let, let's make it, let's make it, I don't know. Let's make it 20 times scale. See, that that's pretty good right there. So, you know, that's pretty good. We'll press save. You know, that looks really good for a pen row shape. So we're gonna go to our settings. Um, we can do layers and surface. We're going to do um, edit preset. We're gonna make this, let's see, can we do 0.4? Yes. We're gonna make it very large layer heights because I'm very impatient and I don't feel like doing it. We're gonna make one perimeter. We're gonna make zero infill. 
and the top and bottom faces can be wait four no not 40 point four there we go save you know that's pretty good so we're gonna press close um infill speed we'll go into speed yeah that looks pretty good for speed uh support material we'll we'll bump that that up to 45 save okay so yeah now we have it all ready um i'm gonna go turn on my printer and i will get it all set up okay so the printer's all ready i had it paused it just did the uh bed leveling so here it is it's gonna okay so it's starting so yep time lapse wait i gotta say it like 3d printing nerd ready time lapse so that, that, that was a lot better okay here's the time lapse That time lapse is over. So we're gonna we're gonna take her uh, trusty razor blade scraper thing. Don't know what the real name of this is. So we're gonna uh, scrape this off. Okay, there we go. Um, we're gonna pull the support material off. There we go. And we got kind of scrape it a little bit, clean it up. Okay, so um, yeah, this looks pretty good. Here you can see it right there. Yeah, looks I, I, I like it. So I'm gonna sticker this up off camera because stickers cutting for zero by zeros. Oh my gosh, they're such a pain because it's just it's so difficult to get them to stick. So I will see you out in the garage so that I can like show you this over my belt sander because you know I do that in most of my newer videos now where I'm showing you puzzles actually I think yeah I've done that on two videos so anyways yeah I'm gonna go do that real quick so I'm out in the garage on you know above my belt sander like I normally am now because this this is my new spot I need to get a table I really do okay so um let me just where, where did I put it Darn. Oh, there it is. So, um, here you go. This is the Penrose 0x0, zero zero, all finished and done. You can see that I got these really good looking stickers on it. Look really awesome. So, um, I would totally recommend making one of these. I, I really hope you do. And I hope this tutorial was useful. So, yeah. I'll see you all later, guys. Goodbye. And always, you know, ha have a happy Easter and a happy April 1st. You know, you guys probably know, think this is an April Fool's video. Do you guys really think I'd do that? I need to do the zero by zero to 11 by 11 pen rows. I need to do all of them. So this isn't an April 1st video. You know, that'll be tomorrow.